Hello friends, welcome to my channel. Please click the subscribe button and press the bell icon and never miss another update from Almighty Java. In this video, we are going to learn about Spring Data Rest. So before going further, first let's see what is Spring Data Rest. Spring Data Rest makes it easy to build hypermedia driven REST web services on top of Spring Data repositories. Spring Data Rest builds on top of Spring Data repositories, analyze your application's domain model and exposes hypermedia driven HTTP resources for aggregates contained in the model. If you are not able to understand the details, then don't worry, at the end of this video, you will get the complete clarity about the Spring Data Rest. Let's implement. Here you can see our application is up and running on port number 8081. Reference link is also coming because we integrated Hetios. Here is the readme md file for your reference purpose. Let's open the book repository file. You can see we added repository annotation. So even if we remove this annotation, then also the application will work the same as earlier. Let's remove the annotation and we'll see it will work or not. Server restarted. See still working same as earlier. Stop the server. Now open the POM XML file. Here let's add data rest dependency. Dependency downloaded successfully. Start the server. Server is started without any error. Endpoint is still working same as earlier. Now let's add required changes in the book repository interface. Annotate this interface with repository rest resource. And here we need to pass two parameters like collection resource relation and path. I am giving value like book for both the parameters. Ideally for path value should be books but books we are already using so I gave the book. Save this file. Server restarted. This endpoint still working same as earlier. Now let's open the data rest endpoint as we gave path book so change from books to book. See it is working. If you observe we have not added any code for this and this is all happening because of data rest. Like I said earlier spring data rest makes it easy to build rest web services on top of spring data repositories and you can see here other details like reference links and page details also coming. That means for data rest Hetios already included so no need to add any kind of external implementation. Other referenced links also coming because of Hetios implementation which we added as part of the previous video. Let's open the profile link. So here you can see the response is like the details about the domain like for which CRUD operation type is safe or unsafe or item potent. Those details you can see as part of this response. Don't worry at the end we will explore this response. Now let's see what else we can do as we added repository rest resource annotation. So now it allows us to add some metadata methods like find by title, find by author. So these methods it is allowing because of the domain properties. First declare find by title method. Here you can see this method is returning the list but for title we need to add param annotation and need to pass the title. And that's it. Server started. Let's see after adding this method what change it will make in the rest book response. Here you can see it added one more reference link for search. So let's click on this search link. As you can see here it created one link for find by title. Let's click on this link. See it is working but not showing any result because we need to add title also as part of the URL. Let's add the title also. Here we have only one record so let's add a title like spring microservices in action. And see it is working as you can see it is returning the list. Let's check if we gave a partial title then it will work or not. See it is not working so it work only when the full title value match. So we do need to return a list just return only the book object. Still working and instead of the array now directly it is returning the object like find by title let's add other methods also. Here I am going to add a method for most of the parameters. Following similar approach. Server started. Now let's refresh the search URL. See it created URLs based on the methods whichever we declared. Let's test all the methods one by one. Find by author is working. Find by languages is working. 
find by ISBN number is also working. As we have only one record, so let's add two more records. Post method we cannot execute through the browser, so let's open the postman. Here are the request formats and record saved successfully. Let's add one more book object. Again, record saved. Now we have three books object. Let's check the ISBN endpoint with a different ISBN number. See, it is working. Check the language URL. Let's see it will work or not because now we have three records. But even for the language also, we are returning the book object. See, it is not working and that is happening because we are returning the book object instead of the list. Let's change the return type for find by language. Server restarted. Let's check now. See, it is working but showing only one result because the server restarted so we lost the saved book objects. But now you can observe it is returning the array. As we added five methods and we are able to check data directly because of the data rest. As we tested by using the browser, so there is one more way to test the rest endpoints and for that we don't need to add any third party software like the postman. I will show you how to test the rest endpoints with the help of curl. So curl is a command line tool to transfer data to a server or access data from a server. Let's open the command prompt. First, let's test the original rest endpoint. See, it is working and returning the JSON, but this JSON response doesn't look much pretty. So, in the next video, we'll see how to return the proper JSON response with pretty format. Now, test the other data rest endpoints also. See, endpoints are working. Here, for the ISBN, response is not coming because for this ISBN, there is no book available. For English, one book object is coming. Let's add one more book object. Record saved. See now, two objects are coming for a book where language is English. I hope you understood how we can test the get endpoints with the help of curl. Similarly, we can test post and put endpoints also, but those will cover in some other video. Here is the profile URL. Let's go through the entire response. Here are the details of the parameters. And here are the details for the get, create, patch, delete and update methods. And here are the details for the method which we declared like find by price, title, language, ISBN number, author. Let's quickly review whatever we added. As you can see, we added some more endpoints which are working because of the data rest. So let's update the readme MD file. So this will help you for the future reference. I added all the possible URLs. Let's open our GitHub page. Here also you can follow me. So whenever I commit anything, then you will get the notification on your email ID. Let's commit the changes whichever we added. Let's compare the changes. Now click on the commit and push button. Code committed. Let's open our repository. See here are the changes. I hope this video is helpful for you. We'll create one more video for the Spring Data REST controller. But for this time, that's it for this video. Please like and share this video. Subscribe our channel. Thanks for watching.